Bonjour, I am Rob Malo, also known as Thibaut Le Voyageur, and I would like to welcome you to the Canadian Museum for Human Rights, which is located on ancestral lands, on Treaty 1 territory, and the birthplace of the Métis. We recognize with many thanks that the water in the museum is sourced from Shoal Lake 40 First Nation. Je m'appelle Rob Malo, aussi connu comme Thibaut Le Voyageur, et je vous souhaite la bienvenue au Musée canadien pour les droits de la personne. Le musée se trouve sur le territoire visé par le traité numéro 1 et sur les terres qui font partie du territoire traditionnel de la nation métisse. Nous reconnaissons que l'eau dans le musée vient de la première nation, Shoal Lake numéro 40. Et nous disons merci. We may not be able to celebrate together in person during this time, but know that you are in our hearts and we miss you. Please stay safe. We look forward to seeing you again soon. On ne peut pas célébrer ensemble en personne pendant cette période, mais sachez que vous êtes dans nos cœurs et que vous nous manquez. Restez en sécurité. On espère vous revoir bientôt. Enjoy our five video series created specially for the Festival of Rights celebrating the right to play. Découvrez notre série de cinq vidéos créées spécialement pour le Festival des droits. Célébrons le droit de jouer. Bonjour, je m'appelle Mimi. Hi, I'm Coco. Aimez-vous chanter et danser? Oui. We love to sing and dance. J'adore cette chanson. Elle parle de moyens de transport. This is a great song. It is. Can you guess which mode of transportation we will be singing about? Could it be an avion? A plane? No. Hmm. Oh! Uh -uh. A taxi, peut-être? A taxi? No way. Bicycle? No. Mimi, take this and listen carefully. You'll get the idea. C'est dans Saint-Lupicin, j'étais sans travailler. Je m'en vais sur le grand tronc, c'était pour m'engager. Je demande au conducteur s'il voulait m'engager. Il me dit, monte sur mon train et commence à chauffer. Chauffe, chauffe fort, voilà ce qu'il me dit. Je fais tous mes efforts, toujours l'ingénieur qui crie. Et puis chauffe, chauffe fort, il nous faut de la vapeur. Ça t'apprendra, mon vieux, à t'engager, chauffeur. Hé, hey, Coco! Oui, Mimi? Est-ce qu'on devrait demander à nos amis de nous aider avec les effets sonores? That's a great idea. Our friends can do the train sounds. Oui. Alors, euh, pendant le couplet... During the verse... On va faire les sons de l'engin à vapeur. You will be the steam engine. But how? Comme ça. Chauffe, chauffe, chauffe. And during the chauffe. chorus... Dans le refrain, on va être le son que font les roues qui filent sur les rails. You'll be the sound of the wheels on the tracks. Great idea. All aboard. En passant par Saint-Lazare, je fumais un gros cigare et j'ai su fort bien assis quand l'ingénieur me crie. Hey, chauffe, chauffe fort. Voilà ce qu'il me dit. Je fais tous mes efforts. Toujours l'ingénieur qui crie et puis chauffe, chauffe fort. Il nous faut de la vapeur. Ça t'apprendra, mon vieux, à t'engager, chauffeur. En passe à la montage à prairie, vers les 6 heures et demie. Je demande au conducteur si l'approche est midi. Il me dit, oh mon 
mon vieux, on va bientôt souper. J'ai dit ça prétend bleu, j'ai pas encore dîné. Chauffe, chauffe fort, voilà ce qu'il me dit. Je fais tous mes efforts, toujours le génieur qui crie. Et puis chauffe, chauffe fort, il nous faut de la vapeur. Ça t'apprendra, mon vieux, à t'engager, chauffeur. Arrivé à Saint-Boniface, j'ai très presque resté. Je demande au conducteur, est-ce que je peux débarquer? Il me dit, non, mon vieux, tu es notre engagé et tu débarqueras quand tout sera terminé. OK, chauffe, chauffe fort, voilà ce qu'il me dit. Je fais tous mes efforts, toujours le génieur qui crie et puis chauffe, chauffe fort. Il nous faut de la vapeur, ça t'apprendra, mon vieux, à t'engager, chauffeur. Jeune gens qui est sans travailler, n'allez pas sur le grand tronc, ils vous feront chauffer. Les ingénieurs sont rough, ils nous mènent comme des toffes. Quatre, cinq, t'as par la tête, cinq, six coups de pied dans le chauffe, chauffe fort. Voilà ce qu'il me dit, je fais tous mes efforts. Toujours l'ingénieur qui crie et puis chauffe, chauffe fort. Il nous faut de la vapeur, ça t'apprendra mon vieux à t'engager chauffeur. Chauffe, chauffe fort, il nous faut de la vapeur, ça t'apprendra mon vieux à t'engager chauffeur. Et le train arrive à la gare. And the engine lets off steam. Hi, domo arigato gozaimashita. We are Fubuki Daiko. Fubuki literally means blizzard. Taiko or Daiko literally means drums. We're based uh, in Winnipeg, 
so we named the group after the weather that we always get. Uh, the first piece that we just played for you is called Kokoro Zashi. Kokoro Zashi literally means will and determination. It was written by our friend Tiffany Tamaribuchi. My name is Hiroshi Koshiyama, and I will pass it off to my wife, Naomi Gilbert. Hi. I'm going to introduce the drums for you next because the drums also have names. We build these drums ourselves out of barrels and before we put a second skin on a drum, we write the name of the drum inside. We name our drum after people, after places, even after pets sometimes. It's our way of saying thank you to the cow and to the tree that end up becoming the drum that we get to play. The way we learn our music is by singing the sounds of the music instead of by writing it down. We call that kuchi shoga, or mouth singing. And the way it works is that there are different sounds you can say with your voice that match up to the different way you can play the drums with the drumsticks. For example, if I wanted Hiroshi to play one loud sound, I would ask him to please play don. Two loud sounds a little closer together would be dogo or doko. A soft sound is the word su. Two soft sounds would be suku. Sometimes we hit the edge of the drum, that sound would be ka or kara. We can take those sounds, we can rearrange them in any order that we want to make music. It's a lot like learning to read or to write. First you learn the alphabet, then you take letters from the alphabet, you combine them to make words. You put words together to make sentences, and from sentences you get a story. In our case, a song. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take those letters from the Japanese Taiko alphabet and combine them to make a musical sentence that Hiroshi is going to play back for you. How about playing Don tsuku doro tsuku ka ka doko don. We're going to teach you guys a song now, and you can learn this by playing it on your bodies, which is what we're going to do with you too. You could play on a pillow with your hands. You can turn a pail upside down. You could play on that. It's uh, all, anything you can think of to find a surface and then something to play it with. This song we're going to teach you has three lines. It's called Renshu, which means practice. The first line sounds like this. Don ha. Don, ha, don, 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 don. It would look like this on the drum. Hup. 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 Let's practice this with our hands on our bodies. This is going to be your right hand. Each knee ready and don, ha, don, ha, don, 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 don. Line number two sounds like this. Do go ha, do go ha, do go ha, don, don. On the drum, it would sound like this. Hup. 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 If we were going to practice it all together with our hands on our bodies, let's do that now. Each knee ready and do go ha, do go ha. Do go ha, don don. don. The last line sounds like this. Ha, don ha, don ha, don don. Sore, and it would sound like this on the drum. Hop, hop, hop. Sore. Let's practice that. Line number three. Each knee ready and ha, don ha, don ha. Don, don, sore. Before we try it on our drums, let's play all three lines together with our hands and use our voices to sing it while we play it. Each knee ready and don, ha, don, ha, don, 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 do, go, ha, do, go, ha, do, go, ha, don, don, ha, don, ha, don, ha. Don, don, sore. All right, are you ready to try it on your instrument? It could still be your body, or it could be a pillow or anything else that you have. Let's do it together. Each knee ready and ha, 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 ha. sore. Thank you 
for drumming with us. Hi, we're Jesse Havey and the Banana Band, and we're so happy to be here to play a song for you now called Rioting Star. We are Momentum Aero and Acrobatics Troop and we have an exciting workshop planned for you today. We are going to be showing you how to do acrobatic and circus moves right at home. This program and this workshop is good for all ages. Just find some area in your living room where you have a little bit of room to move around and get ready to follow along with me and my assistant Mia. Nous allons démontrer aujourd'hui un programme de acrobatie et de mouvement de cirque. Uh, nous allons le faire en anglais, mais vous pouvez suivre mon assistant Mia pour savoir quoi faire. Et j'espère que vous vous amusez. So get ready to follow along and have some fun doing circus right at home. So, this is my assistant Mia. You're going to be following along with her as we go. And of course, as circus performers, the most important part is to warm up first. Find your little area and we're going to start just jumping up and down on the spot. Nice little jumps. No big deal. Let's do some jumping jacks. Very nice. Now I want you to hop on one foot. Choose your favorite foot and hop. And switch feet. And switch again. And switch, and switch, and switch. Okay, that's enough. We're gonna do some circles next. Warm up those shoulders. Can I see some arm circles, Mia? Yes, both arms straight out, big wide circles. Five in one direction and then switch and five in the other direction. Also got to warm up those wrists. So put those hands straight out in front of you, fingers stretched out, and we're going to do wrist circles. So five big circles both ways. And the other way. Looking good, guys. Okay, next I want you to go on 
all fours in a bare position. So you're gonna put your feet shoulder distance apart, your hands on the ground in front of you, and I want you to try shifting your weight forward and backwards. So over your hands and then over your feet. Nice. Can you try doing the same thing side to side? This is important so we warm up all of our weight transfers and all the body parts we're gonna be putting pressure on. Now I want you try to try and take one hand off. Can you take the other hand off? What about one foot? Other foot? What about a hand and a foot? Let's see it. Oh yeah, try not to lose your balance. Okay, switch. Other hand, another foot. Amazing. Okay, Mia, you can stand up for me. So, we're gonna go through a bunch of animal acrobatic moves. I'm gonna explain to you how to do it, Mia's gonna show you, and then you can try it with us. So the first one is our bear walk. You're gonna go into the same position we were just in, and then you're gonna move your hands and your feet to take three steps forward, and three steps back. Nice. A little bit of a challenge. Can you try walking in a circle in your bear? Good, Mia. And other way. Amazing. And back up to rest. Okay, number one was pretty easy, but let's wrap it up a little bit. Second animal move is gonna be our crab. So same idea, you're on your hands and your feet, but I want you to start sitting on the ground, wherever you are. Put your hands behind you, fingers pointing either towards your bum or away, and you're gonna bring your hips off the ground into a little crab pose. Same thing, I wanna see three steps forward and three steps back. Yes, you got this guys. Make sure those hips are nice and up in the air. Time for our challenge, can you go in a circle? Very nice, Mia, both ways. Awesome. Okay, and we can stand up back to rest. Time for our frog now. So for our frog, you're gonna keep your weight on your feet, fingers, I mean toes pointing out. You're gonna bring your hands down to the ground between your feet, bend your legs outward like a little froggy. Then I wanna see the biggest jump you can do, up in the air, and land in the same pose. Show me five of these, Mia. Yeah, this is a good leg workout. Just like squatting, but way more fun. Yes, awesome. Okay, that's our froggy. We're gonna make it even harder now. The next one is our monkey swings. So get down so you're sitting on your knee, with your knees on the ground, and you're gonna put your hands both to one side of your knees. From here, you can have your weight on your feet now. You're going to jump up and try to jump your feet to the other side of your hands. Let's see how it's done, Mia. Nice. Okay, so I want you to try these in both directions. Hands to one side, feet up, and land on the other side. Try to make it nice and slow and controlled. And bonus points for pointed toes, of course. Beautiful, Mia. So these are our monkey swings. They're my personal favorite. Okay, back up to rest. Next, we're gonna do some inchworm. So, you're gonna have your feet together. Put your hands down as close to your feet as possible. Doesn't matter how flexible you are. And you're gonna walk your hands out until you get into a plank position. Now, just like a worm, you're gonna walk your feet in to finish. Try this a couple of times. Hands out and feet in. Nice, Mia. Then you can also reverse it and do it backwards. Feet out, hands in. It's a nice little worm action here. I love it. Yes. Okay, and then we can come back up to rest. I think we're ready for some rock and roll now. Let's do some rolls. The first one's gonna be our gopher roll. So, I want you to go down onto your knees on the ground. Very nice. Make a little tuck position on the ground. Then, choose one direction where you have room, roll over onto your back, continue the roll back onto your feet, and then I want you to pop up like a little gopher. Very nice, and you can do this both directions. Roll onto your back, keep rolling, and whoop, gopher. There you go. Let's do two more of those. Imagine you're at Cinnaboyne Park with all those little gophers running around. <gasps> nice. And one more. Awesome. And back up to rest position. Okay, so we have done our bear, our crab, our monkey swings, our frog, our inchworm, and our gopher roll. One more roll for you. Let's see that starfish roll. So same beginning position on your knees in a little ball. 
You're gonna roll onto your back, same as the gopher roll, but when you get there, you're gonna stretch your hands and your legs out in a big star. Then finish your roll, and you've done a starfish roll. Let's see it both directions a couple more times, Mia. Nice, and again, bonus points for pointed feet. Beautiful. And when you are done that, you can come back up to rest. I have one more little trick for you today. We're gonna learn how to do some donkey kicks. For these ones, you're gonna be standing up on the ground. You're going to put your hands down in front of you and you're gonna keep one leg up and then replace it with the other leg. So one leg up, replace it and down. Yeah, you can actually do this one with bent legs or straight legs. One leg up and switch to come down. Awesome, I want you to try that a couple of times. Be very careful, doesn't need to go all that high, it's just one leg up, switch. Nice. And the exciting thing, Mia, you can come back up to rest for me, is that donkey kicks can become our beautiful handstands. Mia, can you show me what the advanced version of this move? Look at that. Oh man, she just holds it. Don't worry, I don't expect you to be there yet because I don't think I am either. So, we've learned all of our moves for today. We have to review our bear. Yes, our crab. Oh yeah, show me some frog action. Yep, monkey swings. Inchworm, she's doing all of them. Gopher roll. Starfish roll. And donkey kick. Amazing. So, now there's a challenge for you guys at home. I want you to choose your three favorite moves. And I want you to put them together like a little bit of a performance, just like we were doing. So, Mia here's gonna demonstrate. Mia, choose three of your favorite moves and show us how you can mash them all together. Let's see what she's got. Starfish roll, very nice. Ooh, some donkey kick action. And inchworm. So I want all of you to try this at home. Pick your three favorite moves, put them together, add a big smile, and you're basically on your way to doing a circus performance just like us. Mia, I want you to also show off a little bit now. Can you show us sort of like the advanced what this can become version? Let's see, she has a little performance planned for us. Hit it, Mia. So these moves take a lot of practice and a lot of hours of training. But what you've done today is basically just the beginner version of all of these moves. Which means with a little bit of practice and a little bit of time, you could be just like Mia. Thank you so much for your attention and I hope you guys had some fun today. We really love sharing this with you and I hope we get to do it again soon. Keep practicing and I am hoping to see a couple of other circus artists in our future. Thank you so much everybody. Merci beaucoup et j'espère que vous avez vous amusé. Merci. Bonjour, my name is Rob Malo, also known as Tibère le Voyageur. J'ai avec moi de mes instruments préférés. Hein? My, some of my favorite instruments are a harmonica, une planche à laver, a washboard. And if you feel like dancing, time to get up and bust the move. Je m'appelle James Colton. Je suis un créateur, un artiste et un musicien. And I'm super happy to share with you my second installment from my album Unusual Friendships. This track sh starts the story between le petit rat et le petit chat and how they're starting to create this new group, this new band. And uh, I had a lot of fun uh, playing with this whole idea of how I could communicate this story and, and, and tell this story. 
and uh, I hope you like it. The song's uh, vocals feature Andrina Turan and myself, uh, as well as a, a cavalcade of Winnipeg musicians. Uh, I hope you enjoy. history, man has endeavored to defy gravity. From ancient Egypt to modern times, we have sought flight, space, and more. Today, we annoy gravity with the art of juggling. With only a few steps, anyone can juggle, even this clown right here. Yes, you. In five minutes or less, you can juggle. All you need is to grab some balls. Are you ready? Step one, throw the ball in the air. Step two, catch the ball. Step two, catch the ball. Catch the ball. In the event the ball has not returned to you, it has likely finished its descent whilst you were busy staring at a dark spot on the ceiling. Now that you have mastered one ball, it is time to move on to two. Starting with one ball in your left hand and one ball in your right, move the ball in your dominant hand in an arcing pattern in front of your face. 1.7 seconds afterward, move the ball in your non-dominant hand in a similar pattern just before you catch ball number one. Repeat a lot. Remember step one, throwing the ball. When learning how to juggle, and you want to impress all of your friends and family, try juggling two balls in one hand. To 
this may not be as impressive as you hope. One cannot truly call themselves a juggler until they have annoyed gravity using three balls. Now, before we try three, allow us to review the excite factor of juggling, the excitement factor of one ball, boring, of two balls, mediocre. Now, you will juggle three balls at once. Simply start juggling two balls and add ball number three into the pattern. Now that you have three balls in the air, it is time to learn a few of the multitude of tricks available to the North American juggler, such as tennis, two over, two under, multiplexes, and whatever that is. But be warned. If you juggle for too long, you may begin to look strange to friends and family. Congratulations, you now know how to juggle. But why stop there? More is always better. But always remember step one, throwing the ball. But juggling is not only balls. You can juggle anything if you put your mind to it. There are juggling clubs, torches, swords, or uh, just whatever that is. But why stop there? With your new props, add something different to the finale as well, like a unicycle or a rollabola. If the rollabola is not a challenge, you are likely doing it wrong. And there you have it. Another skill that is unlikely to help you in life, but most people think is neat. Howdy folks, I'm Al Simmons. Well, they call me Slim. I stand six foot two. Pounding leather, punching cows. I'm a real buckaroo. Well, I can rustle up the grub in 10 seconds flat. My legend will live longer than my 10 gallon hat. I'm off to see my gal on my Palomino pal. I got a horse. Got a horse. I got a, got a hat. I got a cowboy song. Got a gal. Got a gal. I got a, got a trail. I got a mosey along. And when I'm rounding up the cattle, just adding up the total, I'll be sitting in the saddle, letting out a yodel, hodel, yodel, hodel, yodel, yodel, Now let me introduce my horse to all you men and women folk. He's actually a bicycle. His name's Old Spoke. Now you might wonder why training wheels are required. He can't stand up by himself, because he's too tired. He's too tired. I got, horse, got a horse, I got a hat, got a hat I got a cowboy song, song got, a got a gal, I got a trail, got a trail I got a mosey along. And when I'm rounding up the cattle, just adding up the total, I'll be sitting in the saddle, letting out a yodel, 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 yodel. Well, I'm the sheriff, the ranger, the marshal, and the law. I'm the good guy in the white hat, and I'm quick on the draw. The bad guys are waiting for me somewhere around the bend, but I never really shoot no one. I just pretend. Well, I'm climbing on my hossy, and I'm calling out the posse. Got a horse. Got a horse. I got a hat. Got a hat. I got a cowboy song. Got a gal. Got a gal. I got a trail. Got a trail. I got a mosey along, and when I'm rounding up the cattle, just adding up the total, I'll be sitting in the saddle, letting out the old old lady, old 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 lady, the old lead lady. Oh yeah, oh steady now, pal.
Giddy up now, pal. Here we go.